Fundamental particles of matter come in two forms, leptons and quarks. A big difference between them is that, unlike quarks, leptons don't take part in strong interactions. They're subject to gravity, the weak force, and if they're charged, electromagnetism, but they don't experience the strong force. Both leptons and quarks are fermions, which means that they have half-integral spin and they obey Fermi-Dirac statistics. Bosons, on the other hand, such as the photon, have integral spin and obey Bose-Einstein statistics. There are two main classes of leptons. Charged leptons, the most familiar of which is the electron, and neutral leptons, which are known as neutrinos. Charged leptons can combine with other particles to form various composite entities, such as atoms, whereas neutrinos rarely interact with anything. Positronium is a short-lived exotic atom in which an electron and an anti-electron, or positron, are briefly bound together. There are six types of leptons known as flavors, grouped in three generations. The first generation leptons are the electron and the electron neutrino. The second are the muon and the muon neutrino, and the third are the tor and the tor neutrino. Electrons are the least massive of all the charged leptons. The heavier muons and tors rapidly change into electrons and neutrinos through a process of particle decay. Electrons are stable and the most common charged lepton in the universe, whereas muons and tors are produced only in high energy collisions, such as those involving cosmic rays or in particle accelerators. The muon is the second lightest lepton it has an electric charge of minus one and is identical to the electron but 207 times more massive. It decays with a mean lifetime of 2.2 microseconds. More massive still is the Tor lepton with a lifetime of just 30 trillionths of a second. For every lepton flavor, there's a corresponding antiparticle known as an antilepton that differs from the lepton only in that some of its properties have equal magnitude but opposite sign. According to certain theories, neutrinos may be their own antiparticle, though it's not currently known whether this is the case. Lepton flavor violation is the principle in the standard model of particle physics that leptons don't change flavor. For example, a muon would never turn into an electron. If this were observed, it would be a signal for new physics. Evidence for neutrino oscillations already indicate that lepton flavor violation may occur. Lepton number is the total number of leptons present in a system minus the total number of antileptons. Lepton conservation is a rule which states that the net number of leptons before and after an interaction must be the same. And now a little history. The first charged lepton, the electron, was theorized in the mid-19th century by several scientists and was discovered in 1897 by J.J. Thompson. The next lepton to be observed was the muon, discovered by Carl Anderson in 1936. It took until 1947 for the concept of leptons as a family of particles to be proposed. The name lepton comes from the Greek leptos, meaning thin or slight, and was coined by the Belgian physicist Leon Rosenfeld in 1948. The first neutrino, the electron neutrino, was proposed by Wolfgang Pauli in 1930 to explain certain characteristics of beta decay. It was observed in the cowan rains neutrino experiment conducted by Clyde Cowan and Frederick Rains in 1956. The muon neutrino was discovered in 1962 by Leon Lederman, Melvin Schwartz and Jack Steinberger and the Tor between 1974 and 1977 by Martin Pearl and colleagues at the Stanford Linear Accelerator Center and Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. 
The Tor Neutrino remained elusive until July 2000, when a collaboration at Fermilab announced its discovery.